Welcome back. Still here at Madison Street Park in downtown Mariana, Florida for the opening day of the Mariana City Farmer's Market. It's a rainy day and we've been here all morning, but the rain has not dampened spirits. Uh, on the contrary, a lot of the other events in town have been canceled due to the rain. This is a rain or shine event with this nice pavilion here. So these farmers and their customers are still here. Right now with Mr. Powell from uh, Tim's, is it Compass Lake Honey? It's Compass Lake Honey uh, based uh, in Florida. And it's uh, either wildflower or gallberry honey. Okay, now uh, Tim, how many uh, colonies have you got? Have you got? I had originally six uh, colonies last year, but I've lost three over the winter uh, through uh, mismanagement. I have to keep at them. It's a, a skilled uh, farming business, and you have to keep on them. Yeah. Now, now, what would uh, what would cause you to lose a colony? Uh, it's lack of management or predators. But uh, I've tried to keep up the predators with proper safe procedures against predators. Yeah. Interestingly, there's over the last 10, 15 years, there's been a real issue with honeybees. There's pictures of Chinese women uh, in China with uh, huge ladders uh, hand pollinating fruit trees. Um, I know that we have a lot of our uh, beekeepers in uh, Florida, particularly uh, exporting our bees or renting our bees, if you will, to the West Coast and other parts of the United States and even overseas. Um, talk a little bit about the importance of honeybees. Honeybees are the most important insect on the planet because they pollinate and they are necessary for products, products from the farms, the crops, and without honeybees, we would be very hard without producing products. Yeah, you know, Jackson County, Florida is the largest peanut producing county in the world. Mm -hmm. Um, and so a lot of people don't realize what a strong agricultural base we have right here in Jackson County. But again, just like all the other crops, if you don't have a way to pollinate that, that, those vegetables, those fruits, whatever the produce happens to be, you're not going to get any yield. Mm -hmm. um, hats off to you and the other honeybee keepers. How long have you been in the bee business? I started in high school back in 1965. I bought the original uh, Sears Farm Catalog equipment to go into honey business. And I've been there for since that time. I remember looking at the, uh, when I first got into bees myself back in the 70s, um, I remember going into the uh, Sears catalog and they sold the queen in a little candy box. And you would stick that in the hive and then the uh, bees would eat her out or she would eat her way out. And um, that was pretty interesting. Yes, sir. A lot of bees start with uh, package bees, which is a two pound package, a wire box. And uh, inside is a new queen in a separate cage and a jar of sugar water for the, tra for the uh, hive to withstand the transport and the delivery. Yeah, now, does Sears still sell bees? I don't believe so. They have quit the, uh, the bee uh, supply business. It's other companies now worldwide, and in America, a lot of bee suppliers now. Just within the last few years, um, the Florida Beekeepers Association held their uh, annual state convention in Chipley, Florida, right next door to us here. And at that time, we worked with that organization, and I was amazed at the people that came from all over Florida, number one, but the huge industry that is honey. Um, do you make uh, part of your living off of the honey? Yes, I just retired last year, so I'm going full-time with honey production and honey bee products. I have beeswax candles. I have unique uh, honey bee jewelry, which I make myself. And it's a fascinating business, and it's worth going into. We have a local club here in Jackson County. In fact, most counties in Florida have beekeeping clubs. Please check with the county agent to check with the list of beekeepers in your county if you're interested and join the club. Well, you mentioned some of that uh, very unique bee jewelry. You've got uh, honeybees encased in plastic. And uh, what kind of a plastic are, is actually, are you using for That's that? That's a two-part epoxy, quick-set epoxy. Okay. Uh, I, I see that you've got all kinds of varieties of that, but I would imagine that's a pretty unique gift item, especially around the gift-giving season. Yes, sir. It's great for the ladies. They love unique jewelry. I have either necklaces, earrings, clip-ons, or hook-style earrings. Tim, thanks for taking the time mm -hmm. to speak to us today. I would really like to maybe visit your uh, operation sometime. Come on out and let you give us a first-hand look at those bees. Would you be willing to do that, perhaps? Possibly in the near future, yes, sir. All right, well, we'll talk about that. Thanks again for taking the time today. Thank you very much. Here right now with Tim Powell from, uh, uh, I'm going to get your name of your company, Tim's Compass Lake, Tim's Compass Lake Wildflower Pure Honey. Uh, 
That's a long name tag. It's you, just the label. I don't have a business name yet. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to get your name wrong. Tim is just one of the many unique vendors out here today. Um, if you've been watching this show, you've seen a lot of the other ones, and um, it's more than just fruits and vegetables. There are many opportunities here to buy unique products and to uh, support our local farmers. If you want the very freshest, the very best produce, and you want to have access to some very unique products such as Tim's, uh, your local farmer's market is certainly one to check out. And in this case, Mariana City Farmer's Market having their grand opening today here at uh, uh, Madison Street Park in downtown Mariana. They are open on Saturday, Tuesday, and Thursday from uh, 7 a.m. until noon. Hopefully you'll check them out and join us out here one of these days, and we'll be right back.